Same report. The player the Browns should try to acquire, edge rusher Cleland Farrell. And that's a, a former first-round pick by the previous uh, general manager and regime that has not worked out a high first-round pick. It says Browns are 2-5, and five, <laughs> aren't likely winning anything this season, but they should kick the tires on Farrell to see if he has any future value. Cleveland has one established pass rusher in Miles Garrett, no long-term compliment on the edge. Meh. I, I, I don't know how I feel about Farrell. Sure, I guess. I don't know. I haven't seen much. I'm not going to say that I watch a ton of Las Vegas Raiders games, but when I've seen him, he has not jumped off the screen by any stretch. Yeah, and it's like you already drafted Alex Wright, who's a similar profile player, um, and that's who you have groomed up for that position. So it just doesn't make sense. This is one of those, like, you know, sometimes the national media has gaps. They don't really pay attention to some of the other things on the team, and they look at Alex Wright go third-round pick. They don't know how high the team is on Alex Wright, and the team's high on Alex Wright, so this just doesn't make much sense. If the Browns do trade for anybody, you would think it would be for a three-tech because that's where the obvious gaps are. Um, in their future. But a dude like Cleveland Farrell, it just doesn't make much sense. Maybe as a free agent, when he's a free agent, inevitably, because it doesn't sound like he's going to get a fifth-year option, uh, maybe that happens, but I don't think a trade happens for him.